All right, this is my third try recording this video because Sam and Didi, this is their active barking hour. But uh, I want to get kind of sciencey and nerdy with this one. I'm going to talk about vision training. And vision training, well, vision is really neurology. And I mentioned before, I love neurology. I love understanding the brain and it's all of its effects and things that we can do to improve our brain health and our, our brain ability. And vision is one of these really heavy neurological functions. You know, a lot of people think vision is you know because of the eyeballs, but these are just really like basic instruments. They take in the light, they send that signal, and most people probably don't realize this, but if you close your left eye, your right eye is taking in the information. It's actually shooting it over to your left hemisphere. Same thing if I close my right eye, the left eye is taking the image and shooting it over my right hemisphere. So the light images crisscross, the brain takes those two images, compares them, creates this single image, and that is what vision is. So that actually takes a lot of work, and a lot of the brain real estate is taken up with vision, um, like vision processing. So I'm gonna teach you a vision exercise in a second, but I want to warn you, it seems simple, but it's very challenging for your brain. So a lot of people, actually I showed this to a client this week, she did one repetition of this and she immediately felt kind of nauseous and that's not uncommon because when you've never done something like this before, you've never really trained or challenged your vision in this way, your brain gets overwhelmed very fast. So you want to be very cautious with this. I'm gonna show you how to do the exercise. I would recommend doing just one rep at a time but spreading it out throughout the day. So the reason I'm talking about vision training, the reason I'm gonna teach you this exercise is because the same client that I taught it to, she was commenting to me how, you know, she's working on a computer, she's teaching kids uh, via computer, and at the end of the day, she's leaned all the way forward, face is just a few a few inches away from the monitor, She her chair's leaned forward, she's on her tippy toes, and actually this is causing knee pain and back pain and upper neck pain and all, like all this muscular issue all these muscular issues and the real cause of this is because her eyes are getting fatigued because you're you're asking them to stay focused on a very small range of motion for a very long period of time and our eye muscles don't like that no muscle in our body likes that it'd be equivalent to saying i'm going to grab a dumbbell and do a bicep curl like this which is not a complete range of motion if you don't know so you're just using like one tenth of your available range of motion and you're doing this for eight hours straight your elbow is going to hate that. Your muscles, your forearm, bicep is going to hate that because you're working a, you're working a few of the muscles over time. A lot of the muscles that are involved in this movement aren't working at all. So some muscles are getting weak and tight. Some muscles are getting overworked and fatigued. And it's just a recipe for disaster for any muscle in your body. But these little six muscles that are around your eyeballs, they control them. They really don't like it. And so it's gonna manifest in a lot of you know body aches and stuff, like I said, and people that are prone to headaches, especially around the temples or above the eyes, your eyes are probably a big contributing factor to that. So this exercise may actually help, may be able to help you. But again, you wanna be super cautious. It seems simple, but there is a lot of stuff going on with the muscles around your eyes and in the brain itself. So you can very easily overdo it and actually create headaches if you're not careful. But just know that this exercise is, uh, it's trying to get these muscles, especially the ones on the inside of the eyes, to pull your eyeballs in towards each other, which is called convergence. You know, a lot of people, when you're young, you, you're told never to cross your eyes. Your mom says, don't cross your eyes because your eyes will stay that way. Well, it probably never happens, but it's actually a good thing to cross your eyes every once in a while because those muscles that are involved in that movement need that activity sometimes. So that's what this exercise is gonna do. It's called a pencil push-up. And we're gonna add a modification to it because again, a lot of the problems that people have throughout the day is because you're using your eyes in a very fixed range of motion. Your eyes want to look close, they want to look far, your eyeballs wanna move in different ranges of motion. But right now we're just gonna focus on this convergence skill and we're gonna add a, what's called a near far modification. So you can sit in, your, you can sit in place, so imagine you're at your desk, just scoot back from your desk you want to make sure that you're sitting tall. So sit tall, or I say lengthen, lengthen up. That's going to make sure your spine is in a good position. And you're going to hold your pen outstretched. 
keep your eyes, both eyes focused on the pen tip and slowly bring it in towards the tip of your nose. And as you do that, you'll feel these muscles, especially if you've never done this before, it's gonna be an intense feeling. You'll feel these muscles on the inside of your eye burning because they've probably never done this before. So as you bring the pin in, those eye, those eye muscles that pull your eyeballs in are gonna start working real hard. So you're gonna feel it, bring it in, take a breath, bring it back out. So again, you probably just wanna do this for one rep. That's a basic pencil push-up. Uh, the near-far modification, you're gonna do the same thing. Keep the eyes focused on the tip, bring it in towards your nose. When you bring it in and you notice that the image will split into two or you just bring it in towards your nose, hold it there and then look at something in the distance, at least 20 feet away, but also something that is maybe written down or a clock face or something that you can notice when the image gets clear, not just a blank wall. So preferably something that has something that you can focus on. Pen tip, eyes go from here to whatever's in the distance. Hold it for a second until that image is clear because what you'll notice is when you first look away, the image is going to be blurry for a split second. Wait until the image clears up, keep the pen here, go back to looking here, then follow it out. When it's outstretched, look at the same object again, wait till it's clear, bring it back, bring it towards your nose, look at the image in the distance, wait till it's clear, bring it back, and back out the pen. So again, you probably only wanna do this one to maybe three times max when you first start doing this because you'll be surprised at how much your eyes are working and how challenging that is. But if you do that one exercise and you're one of the many people that just work in front of the computer all day, if you do that one exercise and say you do it once every hour throughout the day, you should notice a huge improvement in things like neck pain, uh, facial pain, headaches, uh, your eyes will feel better. You can actually just have more energy. There's a lot of things because you're you're highly training your brain. Your brain is going to like this because it's going to be new. And so there's going to be a, a lot of potential physical uh, benefits that you, that you get from it. So if you got any questions on this, I know it's kind of complicated. Feel free to leave me a comment and, uh, you know, we can go over instructions or whatever. And I can actually send you something in print that shows you the instructions on how to do it. But uh, that's it, pencil push-up for better vision, better uh, getting rid of eye strain. Give it a try. Take care, y'all.